The overturning of Roe v. Wade has led to harmful laws attacking not only abortion rights, but also individual liberties and privacy more broadly. Ever since Roe v. Wade, the anti-abortion movement has worked diligently to undermine access to abortion. Before they chipped away at access at the edges, we now recognize that this was all part of a scheme. The true end goal of the anti-abortion movement is to ban abortion everywhere at any cost. It's crucial that we act now to protect everyone in Minnesota from the attacks enabled by the Supreme Court decision. Abortion care is a part of pregnancy care. We want people to have a choice to be able to access and care if they want. Abortion is This body does not get to make decisions on what people do with their bodies. All that they need to do is continue to expand access so that people can access the things that they need in a safe and affordable way. Roe gave me the life that I have now because I was able to get professional, dignified abortion care when I needed it. Never turning back. We are really moving forward and advancing safety for reproductive health care in our state to get these bad laws off the books. In Minnesota, over the last 50 years, we've had a whole slew of restrictions on abortion. The 24-hour waiting period, the erroneous script that doctors have to read, those sort of things that don't advance public health get in the way of the doctor-patient relationship. My body! My choice! We want to put our laws back to neutral on abortion. At Unrestrict, we work, you know, through a reproductive justice lens. It's important that we're bringing in people that were historically left out of this conversation to ensure that we're not just focusing on just abortion care, but we're focusing on the broad spectrum of things that impact communities. This is an inclusive framework that actually looks at the whole life of people and not just a single piece. We want abortion to be treated like the rest of healthcare and don't want anti abortion propaganda masquerading as law or in our books anymore. I am so proud of Minnesota for the protections that they have put in place in our state, but we need more than an executive order. We need stronger laws. And so we keep fighting.